Hey guys, Tony here. One of the coolest parts of having a YouTube channel is that I often get approached by companies to test out their products. Well, today I'm going to show you a brand new 100 inch screen from the team at Miraviz. It's super thin, mounts to the wall with magnets and has a gain of 2.05, which is super reflective. So in theory should be good in a bright room. So I thought, why not get one into the studio, take a look at it, break it all down for you, where I'll share my thoughts, run it through some demos, test the light output with my sensor, and at the end, I'll let you know who I think this screen is designed for, so stay tuned. So this screen is a little different to a conventional screen. It's stiff and rollable and has a new technology that the team at Miraviz developed called Directed Photon Technology, which takes incoming light and multiplies it 2.5 to 3 times, directing it back in a focused way, retaining colors and improving the brightness. I have no clue how it works, but I will say that this screen is definitely brighter than others that I've tested. The ideal use case would be a bright room paired with an ultra short throw as it's designed to reject up to 40 percent of ambient light. The unique proposition of this screen is that it's mounted to the wall with magnets, so it's paper thin, less than a millimeter thick, and the magnets have a way of sticking that doesn't pull up the paint if you needed to take it down. The real issue with using a projector during the day is that the competing light will make the picture look washed out, but this screen is specially designed to combat that with its high gain. Before I show you the install process, I'll give you a few of my thoughts after testing it. First thing, it's bright. I was very impressed to see how much light was being reflected back to me with all the ambient light that I get in my room, and I was very keen to test out the performance. Now, I was pre-warned by Miraviz that they are still refining the manufacturing process of this new technology. So if you go up close to the screen, you will see where the panels are merged together as it seems to be made up of an array of smaller panels. However, I will say that when you're sitting back at the seated position and watching something, none of these joints are visible. I did go into this review understanding that this is a new type of technology and that it wasn't perfect before I even agreed to do a review on it. Moving to the installation, what makes this an interesting product to me is that the mounting system is really unique. After measuring out the center, I was able to get the projector lined up using my laser level. On the provided USB stick, there is an install grid which shows the position for the magnets. Now, you could trace out the boxes with a pencil, but in my case, I was comfortable enough not to look at the laser light and get the magnets into place. The magnets are sticky enough to hold well to the wall, and even with a few test peels, it didn't affect the paint, which is really good. Wearing the provided gloves, I got my wife to help me unwrap the screen and position it over the magnets. It did take a couple of goes to get it lined up perfectly, and I will say that it was actually pretty easy. I guess the advantage here is that you don't need to drill into the wall, and usually when you mount a screen, it has little room for adjustment, whereas this screen does have space around it so that you can move it fractionally if necessary. The pull force is quite strong, and the screen hasn't shifted at all during the time of this review. So first impressions. The screen is very bright. You can see in the footage that even with the shutters open, you can still quite clearly see the light coming off the screen is very bright. I think the only issue that I have with it is that you do really need to have a very flat wall, as any ripples can be visible. In my case, the wall has mounting holes for my Vava screen, and I couldn't take them down because I am actually putting that screen back up. They did create a bump in the screen, not visible during playback, but if you were to have this and you were going to use this screen in a dedicated room, just make sure that the wall surface has been properly prepared and is nice and smooth. The black levels did suffer in full light, but that is to be expected in a bright room with a bright image, and this is something that I would imagine would be very difficult to combat against. Unless the screen itself is completely black, I can't see how you can have a black image reflected back in a bright and light room. In a light controlled room or when it's dark, it does get a lot better. However, due to the brightness, you would have to calibrate your projector for the screen to make sure that you can still get good black levels because it does such a great job at reflecting back the light. I did also observe that direct light from the side was a problem, but that is pretty much the case for every single screen that I've reviewed in this space. So what I'll do is I'll play some demos in different lighting conditions so that you can judge for yourself.
After testing, I wanted to see the actual nits produced by the screen by running HCFR and measuring at 100% brightness, and it came out at 63 nits, which is substantially brighter than my Vava screen, which measured in at 36 nits at 100% on the grayscale test. Overall, I found the image very bright and vibrant, colourful, and also had a depth to the image that I haven't actually observed before on a UST screen. In the demos I prepared, I specifically chose clips which I thought would have a dark and light area to show how it handled it, and I think the image looked pretty good. At night, it really did feel like it had the brightness of a TV. Another observation is that the glow that usually accompanies ultra short throw screens was completely gone. This proves to me that the bezel on most screens must be doing something to refract the light, and having the display this close to the wall stopped that from happening. Overall, I found this screen a very cool and interesting piece of tech to review, and I think it could suit someone who is looking for a screen that would work well in a bright environment and can look past some of the flaws in the manufacturing process. I want to be clear that when you're sitting back watching something, you can't see the imperfections, and I know from speaking with the team at Miraviz that they are continually upgrading and improving the process. The screen alone can be purchased on the miraviz.com website for $1699 and is compatible with nearly all ultra short throw laser projectors, so long as the throw ratio is around 0.19 to 0.23. You can also bundle the screen and the high-end 4K UHD projector on the Miraviz website. The screen and the projector comes to $34.99. I was really impressed with the mounting system, not damaging my walls, and it only took me around 10 minutes once I was set up, and I see a bright future ahead for the team at Miraviz. I will have links down to the Miraviz website in the description, and I'd like to thank them for sending me the screen in for review. It was a real pleasure to be able to check out this new technology and see what's possible now in a bright room. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel for my future content. Anyway guys, a very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.